with the power sector. You have the Gencos, you have the distribution line, and you have the discos. These companies were privatized a few years ago on the premise that they would have, they would charge cost reflective tariffs to make it profitable. Those who privatized the sector, I assume, did not imagine the Naira would be devalued from 160 to 500, 380, 400. If, if my colleagues, if my colleagues will let me finish, if, if my colleagues will let me finish, I can explain where the problem is. That is problem number one. Problem number two. Those who invested in the business thought it was like the phone company where they will make a lot of money. I believe they only had enough money to pay the federal government and make the initial investment. They did not have the capacity to run a power sector company in a modern economy. That is problem number two. Problem number three, they also assumed that the government would subsidize them. So now they brought a bill of one trillion naira. They're now saying the federal government, again, this chamber is so noisy. Everybody be quiet. Be quiet. Chief Whip. Now, Mr. President, he called my name, so I have, a, I have a right to respond to Dino. Now, they say we owe them a trillion naira. So this is, the, this is a serious problem. The way the privatization process took place, the difficulties we have, Dino, Mr. President, there is no solution in sight. That is the reality. There is no solution in sight. They don't have the money to buy the meters. They don't have it. They have no money to pay for the meters. They are technically bankrupt. So, unless we revisit the entire privatization process, unless we understand and dissect what went wrong, nothing's gonna happen. You will still get estimated billing. I'm not holding brief for anybody. We have a catastrophe on our hands. There, there will be no light in Nigeria under the current structure. Regardless of what we say or do today, there is no hope in sight unless we revisit the entire process and try to understand what went wrong or bring in new players with the capacity. The people in place right now do not, Dino, come back to your seat. You raised an issue and you are disrupting the Senate, Dino. You are disrupting the Senate president. Dino. I'm addressing the chair. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to protect the chair. I'm protecting the Please chair. address the chair. This is a very popular uh, motion, and there are so many people are interested in uh, contributing. So if we keep our contributions uh, short, more people will be allowed, more people will have opportunity of um, making their contributions, please. Mr. President, I'm saying this with all seriousness. Where we stand, and I will close, there is no solution in sight. We will keep getting estimated billing. For them to give us cost-reflective tariff, no Nigerian will be able to pay the bill. That is the reality. So I propose that in dealing with this issue that is affecting Dino, that we revisit the entire process again. Otherwise, nobody can have power supply in this country. Thank you, Mr. President. Yeah, but just to say that it's not about Dino. It's about all of us.